Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today I have for you another unboxing video. I know I'm doing a lot of unboxings, but guys, I just want to try out all the bookish subscription boxes that I can. Because, I mean, they're awesome, and I love them. And is that such a crime? Is it? Today we're going to be trying out Whimsify, which is a bookish subscription box that I'd actually never heard of before until the creator, Kristen, contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try it out. And I said sure, because look at how pretty this is. Like, the blue, and on the side is a quote, it says, I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book from J.K. Rowling. It's so pretty, and like, I knew I wanted to try it, like, right then and there, so I said yes. And if I end up enjoying this box, I can let her know, and she will send me the next three months worth of boxes, which is really awesome. So let us begin, shall we? Long gone are the days that I used necklaces to unbox my, my boxes. I now keep the kitty scissors in my room at all times. And Da 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 Ooh, it's yellow! So the theme for the June box was magic and misfits. And I'm not looking at the back because it's very easy to read. I just realized as I glanced at it, I'm not looking at it. Let's keep going, this is exciting. The first thing I pulled out is a candle. It is a homemade soy candle from Nerdwix and it's called I Believe in Unicorns. This is weird. Whoa! No, it's called I Believe in Unicorns because look at it. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. It's like fruity and like flowery all at once. It smells really good. It's like a mix of vanilla with like fruit, which uh, yes. Ooh, okay, I, I get the magic part now. I get it. I get it. And the next thing that we have are actually hair clips or bobby pins. These were created by Lexi's Dollhouse and it's called Time to Be a Dragon. And they have like little dragon scales on the clips. They're really pretty and shiny and iridescent and they're cute, and I probably won't use these because I'm not a fan of hair clips in general, but they're really adorable and hopefully somebody in my house will use them. <laughs> the next thing I grabbed out was actually a magnetic bookmark by Jane's Tiny Things, and I have seen these around. I think one of these was included in an Owlcrate box like back in last July or something. I had no idea who this was. <laughs> And then I flipped it around, and the quote on the back says, We were all supposed to make it. Now I realize that he's one of the six characters from Six of Crows. I haven't yet read Six of Crows, guys. I will get there eventually. So apparently I got Wylan out of all of these characters. He is the only one I have never heard of. So that's cool. He's adorable, though. Oh my gosh. I love bookmarks so much. I love simple things. Just, like, simplistic you know, like eye-pleasing things, I like that. And so this is perfect for me. This is literally, it's a pencil. But, and I don't know if you can see it, but on right here, carved in, it says, this is a magic wand. And it's so cute and simplistic and I love it to death. By the Carbon Crusader. You guys don't know this about me, but when I was younger, I used to collect pencils. And I think I still have somewhere in my house, like literally the case of pencils that I had. It was like a legit, like, open the clasp case that would, nothing but pencils. They were all unsharpened pencils. A majority of them were from the Hello Kitty store. I was a mess, but I had fun doing it and that's all that matters, right? So I think like my love of pencils is still instilled in me. That's why I loved that so much. So the next thing that I pulled out is actually from Catherine's Cards CC and it is literally it's just a little card and it says those who do not believe in magic will never find it and that's a quote from Roald Dahl and I've never read a Roald Dahl book. I'm sorry. I'm a failure. This is adorable and you know what every single card that I've gotten in a subscription box I don't know why I just said every single I've only received two but uh, they would make really good prints like, this is a really cute, it looks like it's a handmade card. It would look like the letters were stamped out. It's really adorable. It would make a cute print, even though it's really small. And I don't know, I just, I wouldn't waste this adorable card by writing in it. So that that's just my opinion, though. Like, you guys have seen what I've done to my tea towel and my tote bag that I got from the Owl Crate boxes. I wrapped them around canvases and, like, stapled them to the backs of the canvases so I could display them. Not everything has to be used the way it's supposed to be used. Haha, <laughs> creativity. So this is from Wayward Apple Gifts, and this is a coaster with the mischief managed on top. And I knew that something with the Martyrs or with Fred and George Weasley was gonna come up in this box because the theme is magic and misfits. And the first 
characters that you think of when you think of magic and misfits are Fred and George Weasley. So this is really awesome to have. It's actually like foam. It's, it's like a mouse pad material. Like that's what I first thought it was. I thought it was a mini mouse pad. And then I'm like, wait, this is way too small to even fit a mouse on top of. It's a coaster and it's really pretty and I'm super happy to have it. Now we're getting down to the book of the box. And it's in this really cute black tissue paper and it has the little whimsify bird logo on it. What is with bookish subscription boxes having birds as their logos? Like there's Alicrate and now there's Whimsify. I think it's kind of cool. Why am I doing this neatly? When have I ever opened a gift neatly? Never. Ooh, what is this? All right, so the book of the box is called Royal Bastards by Andrew Schwartz. And I really, really like this cover, to be honest. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's it's calling to me. And so the synopsis sounds really cool. So apparently this is about this girl named Tilla, and she is a bastard-born child, which I think it means, doesn't that mean that you were born out of wedlock, as in like your parents weren't married? I don't, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm going with. So she is considered a bastard-born child, and you know, her father loved her until he had a true-born child and then cast her aside. She kind of hangs out with the other bastard-born children and kind of spends her days exploring the tunnels. And then one day at a feast, they're honoring the princess Liriana who was visiting and she shocks everybody by sitting at the bastard-born table, which is awesome. So then she and Tilla become friends. One day, Liriana's uncle is killed and suddenly they have to try to stop this civil war that is about to blow up across their lands and it sounds really awesome. It sounds like a cool high fantasy book and I am very very happy to have this now because I'd never heard of this before which was really cool. So the inside pages are actually the map. I love it when books and publishing companies do this. It's awesome. And it also came with a signed book plate, which is also really cool. I love putting these in my books. It makes me feel so special. <laughs> and the theme for July is called Something Wicked This Way Comes. You know, anything circus themed is just calling to me. And you can for sure bet that I will be telling her that I love this and want the next three boxes because I'm super, super excited for this next theme. So thanks again to Kristen, the creator of Whimsify, for sending me this box. I am super, super happy that I accepted and that I loved every second of it and this book sounds really good now that I'm like really thinking about it and I really want to read it so I'm really looking forward to this. I will leave the website where you can order a Whimsify box down below if you're interested and that is going to be it for this video you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later. Bye!